So if you know, I'm kind of known a little bit as the Bane guy. It is one of my favorite builds in the entire game, especially as a league starter. And I think, you know, there's basically a 0% chance that this build will get nerfed. It requires basically nothing to get going. You're just going to be looking for a single unique staff that's super, super common to scale into red maps. And it's just an absolute breeze and a joy to play. So on Friday, one of you guys posted a comment on an older YouTube video requesting for just a full video walkthrough of leveling the Bane Occultist. I thought that was a great idea for what I could do on the stream. What this video is, is just me taking that, consolidating it down, putting some nice informational pop-ups on the screen. And you can follow along and practice your own Bane Occultist leveling and be absolutely prepared for the next league. And this can be a really good reference point for people that want to play the build in the future, not only for 3.18, because nothing's changed in the past six months. There is a very low chance that anything will really change dramatically before PoE 2 comes out, honestly. So without further ado, if you're interested in leveling the Bane Occultist from Act 1 through 4, this is the video for you. And if you're playing something else, I do have plans for doing this for a number of builds. So definitely get subscribed and send me a comment below if there's another build you'd like to see me play through Acts 1 through 4, which is really the hardest part, right, of leveling a new character. That's where all the really interesting stuff happens. And after Act 6, you know, nothing changes basically for any build, right? So anyway... Zip up your battle coats, and let's get to it. Hey guys, before we get started, quick little preface here. This is a heavily edited walkthrough of me leveling between Acts 1 until the beginning of Act 4. And this is not intended to be just a three to four hour hand-holding walkthrough. As always with all of my content, my intention is for you to have the tools. I want to give you guys the tools and the information but always encourage you to Google things that you may be curious about. So if you see any big jumps that are a little confusing, hopefully all of the information, all of the important milestones that really matter are in the upper left corner of the screen. So yeah, this is intended to be more of a consolidated and fun 30 minute walkthrough. So anyway, with all of that understood, let's get right into it. And you could very, very easily um, have 100% uptime on your elemental overload with just a storm brand down. But these days, uh, you cannot because it is per skill and so you can't really cheese it you have to like and, and then you could also you know use controlled destruction or something like that on your primary skill and you know have you could you know have effectively zero percent critical strike chance on your primary skill and then uh use stormbrand to to make sure that you always have eo but now since it's per skill you can't do that and so it's just like while it's still good if you're going to be casting a spell that is hitting enough and has enough critical strike chance you can't just like drop a storm brand and get it for free um and that's like that was like the big big change so, um also the way that you want to do this is you want to run to this waypoint go back to lion eyes watch get this quest right this will give you uh Fine. some mobility uh so we get freezing pulse right no. and we get yeah we're, we're grabbing flame wall and we get frost blink right got a job Farewell. And so if we do it this way, then we drop Fireball. We put Flame Wall. We don't have the right colors. Let's see what Tark Welcome. Tark Lay has for us. Actually, we got colors here. All right. Um, flame Wall here. Fireball is... We get we sa save your gems as well. Save your Fireball. We can use that with an Iron Ring later to make a Sapphire Ring, which is really, really handy. All right. We got blue gems there. Frost Blink here. We're going to save that. Mana Flask right there. Cool. Now we go up here. Yes, I, I do Curse I Effect. I do Bane Curse Effect um, for my Helmet Enchant. That is my preferred. But the cool thing, another cool thing about what makes this build so good for SSF is there are a ton of Helm Enchants that are actually totally applicable and great for this build. Um, so you can do you know Bane, cur Bane Curse Effect. Bane AoE, Bane Damage, uh, Punishment Curse Effect, Despair Curse Effect, Temporal Chains Curse Effect. Um, you can do uh, you know anything with Blight or Essence Drain as well. So since we are since we're leveraging so many different things, uh, we actually have access to. It's like very easy to farm a good Helm Enchant, and so you don't. It's not as stressful in SSF even to farm that. Ooh, we got a three blue wand. Really nice. Really good. Hail Rake is so much easier too with uh, 
Freezing freezing pulse is so good early. I don't know. All right. All right, we get summon phantasm here. Goodbye. And now we got the three blue wand, which will put in Freezing Pulse, Arcane Surge, and Summon Phantasm. Do we what get, is this where we get uh, Holy Flame Totem? That, we do get it now. Oh, okay, cross cool. Both? Pew, pew, perfect, pew. perfect. All right, so after, just after killing Hail Rake and doing Breaking Some Eggs, we come back here, we grab Holy Flame Totem. Ideally, I believe, um, we don't get added Lightning Damage yet. That will come a little bit later. Oh, Steel Skin. Yep, Steel Skin as well is good. Always double check for runners. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can you can do to, to min-max a little bit better. Yeah, we don't have enough strength, but we do, yep, 100%. We want to grab Steel Skin right now because these gems will level with us. And so we will eventually run out of stats as, we, as we're leveling up. So we got to be really careful. You want to grab the gems as soon as possible and you don't want to wait. All right, cool. Very, very early on, you want to pick up as much stuff as possible. And you actually want to hoard every single thing that drops on the ground because, you know, those those wisdom scrolls especially are invaluable for the first, you know, 30 minutes Welcome. of the league. So you always go to Tarly. Alive, Tarkly. I, I never knew he had a K in his name. I always call him Tarly. Alive, Tarkly. And then you can go to the boots tab. You can type NN. And uh, runners is 10% movement speed. And so when you type NN, uh, you'll, see, uh, you'll see those boots highlight. So we don't have any runner's boots. We have our we have red, blue, blue, and blue, 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 which is what we're looking for. Perfect. We already have that taken care of. Stay sharp and we're ready there. to continue. Our passive skill points are still just going up through here. We're going to rush for Firewalker. That's the current plan. Chris Tarly. <laughs> and then once you get Holy Flame Totem, Holy Flame Totem. I tell you what, like, it's it's so good. If you've never If you've never leveled with it. Uh, big recommend. Ooh, got some stuff. Nice. Stay sharp out there. When I'm ready, and not before. Yeah, and the cool thing is, once we get Firewalker, our damage will go up quite a bit. And if I really wanted to, I could take Frostwalker as well. But that's the thing you could do in the short term. Especially if you struggle to get enough cold res and you're in uh, hardcore. Henry Cavill's a juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Yes? Damn it, Roach. Why'd my horse have to go run off again? Mm. Ooh, we just got we just got movement speed boots. Poggies. Yes. Yes. Yo, test V1357. Thank you for the prime. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Um, evasion early on is much better than armor. Oh, well. When there's 10 Roas coming at you, if you dodge two or three of those attacks, so much better, right? So much more comfortable. So that is my recommendation there. We are going to go through Heart and Soul to Deep Wisdom, backtrack to Practical Application, and then grab Arcane Will just to make mana free. We grab Blight, right? So the idea is we do grab Blight and we want to level it up um, as we go here. So this is where you would do, you know, you do the first lab. No, I'm scared. Bane is fun to play until red maps. Bane slaps red maps. Whoop. Busy looking at chat. Bane's incredible in red maps. All you, you literally just need one unique. <laughs> That's really common. And then you do great in red maps too. Your frightened heart echoes from these stones. Why be short-sighted and just like eat crappy food when you could include more people and just get sick food from other cultures? Let's do that. <laughs> people are just shortchanging themselves by excluding people and, and not getting good food. Um, you know, you, you watch Tai Tai Killer, right? Or I'm Exile. They do practice run. 
they they level like five characters a day, right? <laughs> when they're, when they're going hard, and I want to do practice runs. Like, why not? Just do practice runs. Get better at this. Get more comfortable with the axe. Each time you do it, you get a little bit better, a little bit better. Reflect on your experience there. Look at watch the vod of of where you messed up, and see where you can find some time better. See see what you might be missing uh, as you as you level up in the future, right? Like, look how quickly that just chunks fair graves. It's so good. Properly, it is so no good. I want to grab added lightning damage support. We're going to put that into Holy Flame Totem. Um, are we going to grab any of these? Yep, we're going to grab Essence Strain here to start leveling it in our offhand. Just going to level Essence Strain oh, there for fun. Mm -hmm. Let's sell off a couple of little garbage things here. And then we're gonna we're actually gonna do an audit of our. Yep. Don't be afraid to you know if you just get one base, you know, throw it throw a transmute on there, hit things with transmutes, have, have something good. There we go. We got uh, steel skin on our left click. We're going to grab any old blue gem for a wisdom scroll. We're gonna sell that with this iron ring. We're gonna get a sapphire okay. ring. Hit that with the orb of transmutation. Put that on. Now we got we should have really good cold res. We have 60 cold res. Very very nice for fighting Mervail. Uh, use our essences, right? We have uh, we have essences we can use to level up our gear here a little bit. Ooh, even more cold res. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we have another one. There we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Use our essences on our wands there. Now, in the POB, we do recommend if you really, really want to, you can do the wand recipe. Oh, that's the wrong one. The wand recipe right here, which is a blue wand with a blue ring and an orb of alteration. Um, this will give you a wand that has flat damage to spells, which is really, really nice um, if you really want to do that. But I'm not going to stress about it. I have two wands that are already oh, pretty decent. Pew, pew, so pew. I'm just going gonna to bypass that one. But do do pay attention to that and, and do it if you, uh, you know, especially if you're feeling a little dicey on what you got there. Like, it's easy. Nice, Poor smooth, and easy. Wife. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's definitely certain things that we should be cautious about. But, you know, use, use your noggin. Use your, use your mind under, you know. I, I tried it. I learned what, what is a bad idea. <laughs> but I do know things like toxic Bane, Poisonous Concoction, same category as Toxic Rain, right? Toxic Rain, safe as hell, man. Like, it's, it's always going to be a good leak starter unless they remove it from the game. And uh, it's just the nature of chaos skills and scaling in the game. Really. All right, and then uh, we actually don't need arcane will. This is interesting. We are so comfortable on mana right now. I think arcane will is actually a misplay. Um, so let's go to leveling two here. So now from here, we're just gonna zo we're just zooming up. Yeah, we're just going straight up to uh, mysticism here. And we'll take these spell damage nodes. Okay. Um, are these builds hardcore viable? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, they're not the best hardcore builds. So, like, it, it's, it's tough to answer those questions, right? The thing is, most builds in the game can be adapted to be hardcore. You 100% could play Bane in hardcore, right? Because especially leveling through Axe 1 through 10, right? It is just leveling a Witch. Are Is Witch hardcore viable? Yeah. No different than leveling any other elementalist or occultist right be pa you know be slow be patient you know grab a shield highly prioritize things like uh determination and grace defiance banner getting your spell suppression up and all that you know you're just going to go for that instead of taking damage nodes go even slower and then when you get to when you get to maps yeah you can you can absolutely adapt it to be more hardcore viable my version of it is not for hardcore it is it is pretty darn tanky but it is not for hardcore and so, you know, you just want to, if you are a hardcore player, my advice would be, um, you know, really study those defenses, understand how they work. And then you can generally glance at most builds and and be able to deduce whether it's, a, you know, viable to be adapted. All right, there we go. We got a lab done here. Let me let's just get to the next waypoint here. And we'll take a little bit of a breather in a second. That was a bad layout. Two 
much clutter. And that's how easy this build, uh, the, the Holy Flame Totem, right? It just it absolutely rips through Oak as well. Oak, Oak and the Weaver, just very comfortable. Just comfy. So I kill the Great White Beast. As I said before, I really like getting a rare leather belt. I think it very much levels up your character, just way more comfortable, good chunk of life. Then I kill Creighton. Then I go back to the Riverways. Um, I usually will grab the Oak Waypoint first. As soon as I get the Riverways Waypoint, I like to grab the Wetlands one. Then I will teleport back to the Riverways. I did not do that this time. Then I go to the Western Forest. And then I will uh, kill Alira, do the Weaver. Then I will kill Oak. Just because Oak can be really annoying to kill, right? He's very tanky. He regenerates his life. Immortal Call, all that type of stuff. I usually go for Oak last just because he's so tanky. Um, then I go back. I get my two points. Or, you know, if I do choose Alira instead of killing all bandits, then, you know, I will do, I'll usually do the Weaver, then Oak, and then Alira. Um, and then you want to, you know, I do the Black Cards. Also, the first thing I do when I get to Western Forest is I do the Black Cards. Then, uh, then you want to come up here to the Crossroads and Chamber of Sins. Yeah, the Chamber of Sins. And... It, is, it is big Omega lol to me. I mean, I hope it's good, right? I don't want them to put out a bad product and continue to fail. I, I have no faith, right? But the thing is, dude, Diablo... Diablo 3 still has people that play it, right? It's actually like tons of people watch it on, on well, for like a week. All right, now we grab just these two points. We just want these two points. 20% increased spell damage and some AoE is really, really nice. Arcane Expanse just is not worth, I, I don't think it's worth the point, really. We could take the point if we wanted to. I don't think it's necessary. Man, I don't think I ever even took it, right? Because the big thing, we want to rush, right? We want to rush Whispers of Doom. Um, that is the most important thing. Because we right when we hit level 28, we want to have that plus two curse. And then we have a, a four link bane that slaps. We want temp chains and despair. So that is the most important thing. Anything that delays getting Whispers of Doom is a, is a big no-no. All right. Now we go back to the wetlands after we, um, you know, after we got the Baleful Gem. Only mobile game I need is Bloons Tower Defense. Hell yeah. I love me Tower Defense games. Let's see, I'm level 21. Okay. All right. I, I did a, a good job. Good good job, me. I kept pace with the levels cleanly. Now, I, you, you should you can be comfortable like around minus two early on. But if, if I'm even, even to minus two, I don't really mind. Going at your own pace. Like, you don't have to go slow while still being comfortable and like, you know, make doing a good pace. Um... I think if you just take a couple, five minutes here, five minutes there, do like one extra run through a zone, get a couple more levels, everything will just feel better. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, we I think we take these. Yeah, yeah, we just get the damage. Is starting with Freezing Pulse Totem at better blue eight? My recommendation is try, try. It's like, they're both good. They're both really, really good. Um, they're good for different reasons. They have different, you know, what is better is really what feels better to you. That That's really, that's, that's like my answer 99% of the time when people ask me what's better is like this is a game where there is no objectively better there just isn't right like at the end of the day there's no unless you're actually in a race or you have a very specific goal against other people um there's you know what is better is what feels better to you make what makes you happier and helps you accomplish your goal but yeah I did Braz I just did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for like six months and like the the cool thing about it is the the coach that I had um he actually studied with the Gracies in in uh, in South America, and he uh, he had like a very like as I said he had a very very unique style because he mi he mixed in catch wrestling techniques as well, um, which if you pay, if you follow uh, Brazil um, MMA is actually stuff that has been adapted uh, fairly recently into more people's techniques as they, um, you know, it has it has really, really good, like, dynamic takedown protection that isn't uh, as inherent in traditional BJJ. Adapted it for, you know, like, for show, you know, for Hulk Hogan and stuff. 
but it's like it's it's like it has the same DNA as as like you know professional wrestling stuff. It was really 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 fun to have that like hybrid technique. We are now in Act Three. We're doing the crematorium. I am I'm also purposely you know doing the trials as we go past them. I like to check my fire res here. I have 57 fire res, so I can kind of uh, you know run through these without being too stressed. The Minnesota North Stars, the name of the team, Minnesota North Stars, got sold to Texas? What, how, did, did, <laughs> professional sports is the Microsoft Act, Activision Blizzard king of sports. I decided to just not like professional team sports because they te like I was invested on this team and I cared about it. And I was like, all right, this is my home team. And they, they took my entire team and just sent it to Texas. Like that just should not happen. That is immoral. Yeah, we're just doing a quick little act one through three run. Um, getting distracted about, <laughs> you guys are figuring out ways to put me on different rants. Big D, you're trying to get me, trying to get me to rant about NFTs as well. <laughs> uh, I know that this build is, is very good for a league start. You can kill all bosses very, very well. You can get to like wave 26, 27 simulacrum. It's not a simulacrum farmer, but I mean, you can get to like wave 25, right? Very, very comfortably. Oh, um, very few builds are simulacrum farmers, right? Uh, I think simulacrum is a very, custom, like it's a very specialized pit, bit of content. And I, I, I think it's very important to recognize that simulacrum is very specialized content. And uh, like, it doesn't even go in my mental calculation of whether a build is good, right? I think most builds shouldn't or even consider Simulacrum. If they can do it, great. But I don't think it, it doesn't go remotely in the primary category of stuff that I'm looking at. All right. I'll, I'll be on the lookout for Blue Blue Green for Temp Chains, Despair, and Bane for your, for your primary three link. And then your fourth link will be Control Destruction. So I got very lucky here. <laughs> Thank you, Clarissa. I appreciate that. Now, the cool thing here is, right? We get our full three link immediately. That's very poggers of you, Clarissa. See you. Right? We get both of our support our support damage gems right there immediately. And uh, we just want to... We're going to wait till level 27 to equip this. But we got our wand ready to go, ready to equip, and ready to pop off. Do you want to make sure that you have your essence drain and blight ready to go as well for really pushing your single target damage? And in fact, I'm going to grab a second controlled destruction. I think that's something that I should have done I am when I was here. Where are you? Control destruction. Okay. Be well. Be well. <laughs> yeah, first time? <laughs> yeah. If you think they're going to buff melee, I don't know, man. You might want to be. <laughs> Hold your horses on that one, my friend. I'd love to see the All right, let's see if... I'm actually curious if Bane feels good instantly swapping in like that. This is the freezing pulse setup. Let's see if Bane immediately feels good. Um, the big thing that makes it feel real, real good when we get Profane Bloom. But let's see if it feels good right like this. Like, immediately level 27, dropping in Bane. I'm going to also 3-link. I'm going to do a double 2-link with Control Destruction, Essence Train, and Blight. And do that. We'll put Clarity right there. We got Flame Dash. Uh, we're going to put Blight right there. And I got to... These are, these are my links. We got my Essence Train. Oh! Actually, no, Blight goes here. This is the Blight. This is the Blight button. When I'm ready. Okay. Oh, man, I miss you. I miss... Oh, you're so... Look at, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Just a... Just a, a, a good old witch leveling up, making her way in the world, making her way downtown, doing the thing she's meant to do. Let's go. It's so... This build is just so nostalgic and comfy for me. <laughs> Am I just... Oh my god, we just got the luckiest Thaumatic Sulfite of all time. Holy cow. That was actually OP. Like, this this is it. We're going to go kill Dominus right now. But this is the playstyle. And this is basically what Bane feels like the rest of the way. It's this uh, is this smooth and easy. This is a general playstyle. And this is a good indication, right, of what it will feel like as you scale later on, right? And 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 this is what it's going to feel like when you're doing low damage. And it's a, it's a, as Sailkite was saying to people, asking about Bane, it is a control mage playstyle, right? So I'm going to be Baning them, right? They got temp chains on them. 
And especially when I blight when I blight something, look how slow how much slower it goes. I got temp chains and and blight, and they get really slow. I can just kind of walk away from the scary enemies. And so like you're you're a you're almost like a, a chill mage, you're a control mage. You're slowing everything down. You're you can play at absolute max range, right? And so I'm just making sure I have I have my debuffs on the monsters and I just go past them. And they're all gonna die behind me. They're gonna be slow, so they can't even chase me or touch me. Look at that, right? I don't even get hit. Um, and then if I really need to push more damage on the single target, I'll also toss out an ED. This is a good way that you can test, like, will I like the Bane build? Play it until Act 3. I would at least uh, ascend to get Profane Bloom. But play it through Act 3, get Profane Bloom. Just play around in Act 3. You don't even have to go to Act 4. See if you like this playstyle. See what if you like what this feels like. It will be basically exactly the same the rest of the time. And this is what it feels like. I To me, this feels really good. I love it. It's very comfortable. I think it's very powerful. Some people like it, some don't. The cool thing is, if you like it in Act 3, you'll like it forever. I assume we go to Atrophy next. Leveling 3. Yep, perfect. We grab Atrophy. What's your style? See, and we slow Gravisius so much. Look at that. I'm just like, he just gets hindered so much. <laughs> it's that easy. Of all the worlds you could have conquered, you had to choose. Zoomed in piety. Let's go. Power wasted on a feeble imagination. Zoomed in piety. Really, it's, it's actually really hard to aim your essence strain at this uh, this angle. Where is she? Look how slow she's going. She's going for a little jog, little joggerinos. Boom! Zoomed in piety. All right. Yeah. Now we're now we're zooming here. One more level. And then I'm going to, I got four, I think I want to do, I think I still want to keep Arcane Will just to make the mana really comfy. So yeah, we're going to get one more level, then we're going to unspec these two and grab Atrophy. I think that's the play. Can you use a one-hander and shield? Crippling? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. Um, it's just going to be, it's just going to be a lot less damage. <laughs> So I am a really big fan of taking Profane Bloom first. If you want the most single target, you would take Void Beacon. Um, if you want the most defense, you would take Malediction. That Malediction is actually a nice balance between offense and defense. 15% curse effect and enemies with Malediction deal 10% reduced damage and take 10% increased damage. It's actually a really nice, comfortable choice if you're concerned. Like I, if I were in hardcore, I would probably take Malediction first. I am going to take Profane Bloom. It just makes clearing so, 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 so good. It's, it's night and day. Let's not try to milk something just to, you know, operate on nostalgia. Because that's how your company is going to die a very long, slow death. Let's do, let's, let's make fresh stuff. Let's take risks, right? That's why startup companies, right? They're disruptive and they come in, like they have fresh original ideas. Um, and uh, it's just kind of sad when those, those old behemoths just, uh, you know, they don't learn to adapt. You know, back in the day, it was like the best PC, X-Wing versus Street, uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> That would be a game. Oh my god, that would be a game. X-Wing versus Street Fighter. Someone's got to make that game. I would, I would buy that game in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. 
um, and Star Control 2 oh, were Crossbow? very pew, pew, pew. often in like the the very top list of, uh, of PC games of all time back in the day. Yeah, Ghost of Dominus is a bit much. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I'm, I'm actually gonna get my portals back. There we go, Ghost of Dominus even, no Deathless. You, Dominus. Boom. Not a soul. And normally I would recommend, especially if you're in hardcore, <laughs> you know, over level, like what I'm level 33, I'm exactly the same level. Uh, you know, I haven't invested in life nodes at all, really. Probably grab Written, written for Blood here. And I didn't normally, I would recommend, look, I have, I have a gray chest armor. <laughs> gray chest armor. I would, in, I would encourage investing into, you know, just crafting, you know, going across all of your gear, and crafting life on it, getting higher, you know, higher amount of life on on all of it that you can. Yeah, blue ring, gray, gray body armor, nothing on my amulet. Yeah, could have been a lot tankier there too. Maybe Blanca take down an X wing. Yeah, that would be so funny. <laughs> Zangief doing an, uh, a spinning pile driver on a Tie Fighter. Oh my god, I would buy a print of that. I would hundred percent buy a print of that. Of Ta -ta, <laughs> not a cockroach. Oh, that would be so awesome. Almost 100%. Bane's still going to be an incredible league starter. And I want to put out some more content to, to help people along, improve my, my league start guide for Bane, uh, really make sure that anyone who wants to league start it can be really comfortable. So 